sort, even though we would like to, to say that. But uh, it is the it is a waste to energy plant, which means that garbage, the trash you guys throw out every day, if you live nearby here, it ends up out here, and then they put it in an oven, burn it, and they make electricity and central heating. Central heating is what you heat up your radiators with and warm water when you wash your hands and, and take a, a bath or shower. And the Fontanamabag is a foundation that was created because this whole facility has cost four billion Danish kroner, um, and that's taxpayer money. The, yeah, it is 85 meters. And when I started out here, I said to my boss Christian, "One day we'll do that." And he looked at me and said, "Are you saying yeah, maybe a little, but there's a rope?" And he said, "No." And I said, "What do you mean? There is ropes, but 85 meters is so high." that you can't have one rope. So you need to be an educated climber. Go right up here just to keep you guys up to speed. You're not gonna ski from up here, you're not walking up here with your skis. This is the end of the running and hiking track. Uh, the surface. And we'll talk way more about that in a second. But it starts down there and it goes all the way down. Just to make sure that every Everyone. Once we take the elevator back down, we'll look at the finished pro product from from the uh, from the bottom, and we'll talk more about that down there. But uh, we have about 500 meters when you're running and hiking to make it here. There's uh, 10 different routes to to take going uh, through the system down there. It's not 10 different beginnings. It's like the book. They had to simply invent a new mixture to do this. And then it's, uh, it's slippery proof, so you can't really slip on it, even in rainy weather. When that said, if you fall on this, it doesn't take a, a brilliant mind to, to tell you it's going to hurt your knee.